in this video we will discuss about ALP test alkaline phosphatase level test an alkaline phosphatase test measures the amount of alkaline phosphatase enzyme in your bloodstream this test requires a simple blood drawn and is often a routine part of other blood tests abnormal levels of alkaline phosphatase in your blood most often indicates a problem with your liver gallbladder or bones however they may also indicate malnutrition kidney cancer tumors intestinal issues and pancreas problem or a serious infection the normal range of alkaline phosphatase varies from person to person and depends on your age blood type gender and whether you are pregnant the normal range of serum alkaline phosphatase level is 20 to 140 international unit per liter but this can vary from laboratory to laboratory the normal range runs higher in children and decrease with age the best way to know what is normal or not is to discuss the results with your doctor who will be able to interpret the lab's specific results and reference range now what is alkaline phosphatase an alkaline phosphatase is an enzyme that is found in your bloodstream it helps break down of protein uh, in the body and exists in different forms depending on where it originates your liver is uh, one of the main sources of alkaline phosphatase but some is also made in your bone intestine pancreas and kidneys in pregnant women's alkaline phosphatase is made in the placenta now why should a person take an alkaline phosphatase level test an alkaline phosphatase test may be performed to determine how well your liver and gallbladder are functioning or to identify problems with your bones. Checking alkaline phosphatase levels in the blood is a routine part of liver function and gallbladder tests. Symptoms such as jaundice, abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting may lead your doctor to suspect something is wrong with your liver or gallbladder. The alkaline phosphatase test can be helpful in identifying conditions such as hepatitis, that is the inflammation of the liver, cirrhosis, the scarring of the liver, and cholecystitis, as the inflammation of the gallbladder, blockade of um, bile ducts uh, from a gallstone or inflammation or with cancer you may also need an alkaline phosphatase test if you are taking a medication that has the potential to damage your liver uh, such as Tylenol measuring alkaline phosphatase is one way to check for uh, that damage and is typically done uh, together with other liver function tests the alkaline phosphatase test can be helpful in the diagnosis of wound problems such as rickets, osteomalacia, and Pigott's disease of the bone. Uh, rickets is the weakening or softening of the bones in children that is most commonly uh, due to a significant deficiency of vitamin D or calcium. Osteomalacia is a softening of bones in adults, usually due to a significant vitamin D deficiency, but also possibly due to the body's inability to process and use vitamin D properly. Pegas disease of the bone is a disorder causing major problems with bone destruction and regrowth. Alkaline phosphatase testing may also be helpful in uh, investigating the presence of cancer tumors, unusual bone growth, or vitamin D deficiency. It can also be used uh, to check the progress of treatment for any of the above conditions. Now we'll see how this alkaline phosphatase test 
is administered. An ALP test requires a healthcare provider to draw a small sample of blood from your arm. This is done in the clinical lab. A healthcare provider cleans the skin on the front side of your elbow with an antiseptic and applies an elastic band to allow blood to pool in the vein. They then insert a needle into the vein to draw blood into a small tube. This process is quick and causes little pain or discomfort. Now we'll see what do the test results mean uh, when the results of your alkaline phosphatase test are in your doctor will discuss them with you and suggest what to do next higher than normal levels of alkaline phosphatase in your blood may indicate a problem with your liver or gallbladder this could include hepatitis, cirrhosis, liver cancer, gallstone, or a blockade in your bile duct. Higher levels may also indicate an issue related to the bones such as rickets, Paget's disease, bone cancer, or an overactive parathyroid gland. In rare cases, higher levels of alkaline phosphatase can indicate heart failure kidney cancer, other cancers, or bacterial infections. Having a lower than normal alkaline phosphatase levels in your blood is rare, but it can indicate malnutrition which could be caused by celiac disease or a deficiency in certain vitamins and minerals. This was all about alkaline phosphatase test. And in the end, I would like to say that your liver is a powerhouse organ performing a variety of tasks that are essential to maintaining good health. So please do take care of yourself and thank you for watching my videos. Please do like and subscribe to my channel.